Hello, welcome to Behind the Money. I'm your host, Ross Webster. The fall of Greece into the abyss of the global recession tells us how fragile many once powerful global players have become. The short list of financial failures, AIG, Enron, Bernie Madoff, and most recently, Aquaman. Much like California and New York, the liberal socialist spending policies of Atlantis completely bankrupt the nation state, and soon afterwards, Aquaman himself had been given the pink slip. Normally shy of land dwellers, hard times have forced Aquaman to seek out work on the surface. He looked unsuccessfully for work for over a year now and has agreed to a rare interview with Behind the Money. He reportedly has been spotted living homeless on a beach in Destin, Florida. Aquaman, Ross Webster, Behind the Money. Hoping I'd be able to get the interview. Sure thing, Ross. Aquaman, tell our viewers, what is your plan for personal financial recovery? Well, Ross, things are looking up. Mira, my queen, recently lifted the restraining order. And as you can see, she sent some of my belongings back for me. I see. Any luck with the job, hunt? Well, I had a job at SeaWorld. But those racist pigs fired me for having unnatural relations with a manatee. You can't deny our love! Well, surely the former king of Atlantis would find something. Actually, I got a good lead on a managerial position at a mighty taco restaurant in Buffalo, New York. We spent the rest of the day walking the beach talking, reliving Aquaman's past adventures. It was sad to think Aquaman's best days are long since behind him. As Aquaman's battle with the inflatable crab raged on, I thanked him for the interview and we parted ways. Join us next week on Behind the Money when we interview former U.S. Senator Bill Massa and talk to him about the intricacies of text messaging while on the job.